Welcome back to Good Morning SKN. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I, I, love, it. I love it. With the girl if you're talk. a woman, you probably know that our bodies go through a myriad of changes during the course of our lives. Hormones play an integral part in those changes at each stage of development from puberty to postmenopause. Today, Naima, our fill in all around the host and <laughs> psychologist, and I will be having a conversation about some of these changes and our personal experiences with a few of them on this segment of What Girl, Girl Talk. Talk. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. Mm. <laughs> uh, I love it. I miss Jamie. I see you guys don't really want me to be here with Jamie, so you keep bringing me back for girl talk, but it's okay. I understand. <laughs> I understand. So let's begin. Let's talk about puberty. Okay. Well, what do we talk about puberty? Well, the hormones, I was reading up on the hormones, right? And I know that estrogen is yes. responsible for puberty, the, pu the yes. stage of puberty in yes. our lives. Well, when do we go into puberty? So it changes. It's different for male and female. Yeah. Yes, usually females go into puberty earlier. a little earlier. Yeah. And we know the basic sign of puberty, we yeah. think, for girls is when we get our period. Yes. You know? Yeah, the and one telltale sign, although the one there are plenty other signs. Although there are plenty other signs, mm -hmm. yes. And then, so we think once girls get their period or their menstruation or their menstrual cycle or whatever you menses. call it, your menses, mm -hmm. um, then we would say that a, a girl has started puberty. And that's usually, we used to say about 12, but mm -hmm. I would say now it could be anywhere as early yeah. as 8. Eight. Sometimes yeah, eight, girls are getting their mm -hmm. puberty in 10. I think it's the hormones in the food, but I don't have any evidence for that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think it's the KFC. Yeah. Just saying, right? <laughs> um, and then for boys, we generally consider puberty to start when they start to have wet dreams. Mm -hmm. But then not every boy has wet dreams, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's often just with your body. Your oh, body changes. Too. Your voice gets yeah. deeper. You facial grow a little hair. taller, facial hair, your penis grows a bit, you know, the usual stuff. Because it is like your sexual organs, yes. You can't be uncomfortable with these things. You gotta talk to your kids about these things. They need to know these things about they puberty. Do. They do. I actually remember when I was a teacher, there was, we were just talking about this the other day, there was a parent who came to school for me, was very upset that I taught her daughter about her period because nobody had taught her and she didn't think it was appropriate for oh. me to be talking to her daughter about wow. her period. And I was like, I don't think it's appropriate that your daughter doesn't know doesn't about her period. Know, yeah. <laughs> and she's 13, so. Puberty generally is the stages of development where we're moving from becoming a boy or a girl into more womanhood in our bodies and preparing for girls, preparing your body for motherhood yes. and boys, the same thing, preparing exactly. your body also to be preparing mm -hmm. for fatherhood. It doesn't mean just because you're going through puberty that it's time for you to be a father or a mother. Or a mother it's yeah. just the beginning stages. And a lot of girls actually get pregnant during those stages of puberty yeah. and their bodies haven't even yet developed. developed. Fully. Yeah, so, you are correct. Yeah, that's important. But lots of changes, you know, for girls, the boobies get bigger. On the, on Your the underarm, arm you get the hair. Nobody yeah. really wants Nobody that. Nobody wants the hair. Nobody, Nobody wants, wants I that. wish, if it's two things I can take back in my life would be the cycle and the hair. The cycle and the hair? Yeah. But you can't take back the cycle. <laughs> You know, the cycle is the most important thing. I think we should actually celebrate the cycle. I think that we treat um, menstruation as mm -hmm. if it is like some kind of curse. For seven days in a month, yeah. Yeah, and I think even as parents, that a lot of parents teach their kids it's like a curse. Like, as soon as their daughter starts to menstruate, they're afraid she's going to get pregnant. My mom so the first me... talk is just about pregnancy, pregnancy. Don't you get pregnant, you know? I don't exactly. want to see you with no boys. And yeah. that's really not, I think, no, a healthy exactly. attitude. Yeah. You have, we, have, we have to educate the kids better as to what it is and what actually gets them pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how they actually get pregnant, which exactly. I think a lot of people don't even understand that. But exactly. that's a whole different show. Because your parents make you think once you get your menses and you talk to a boy, whoop, whoop, you can get pregnant. You're that's how my mom pregnant. made me feel. Yes, I yeah. think it's cultural. And I think it also comes with a certain generation. Yeah. But now I think we need to be celebrating menstruation. Even like people are like, ooh, celebrating menstruation like it's a part of your womanhood. Yeah. I used to actually tell the young men that if you think about it biologically, menstruation is your first food. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh. that's what I said. Yes, oh. because the baby eats the lining, right? So that's where the baby gets Ooh. nourished. The baby oh. is nourished in the lining of the vagina. I like if something. you don't become pregnant, the vagina, the sheds. lining sheds, and yeah. that's your menstruation. Yeah. But if you do become pregnant, the egg, Ooh, the I fertilized like egg, new. 
of course, lodges in the lining, and that's mm. where it gets its first nutrients. So really, oh. the period is your first food. What do you say? <laughs> Nothing at all. See, fellas, so when you're out there saying, oh, it's so nasty, and it's, you remember, that, <laughs> that was, was your, your first, first food. <laughs> first nutrients. So there's a video that we have to take a look at on the menstrual cycle. So let's look at that right now. Okay. That was so accurate. Very <laughs> accurate. <laughs> True to the bone. True to the bone. It was so accurate. I hope that people are watching. And we do this every watching. month. You know, it's funny because I was having a conversation yesterday with my girlfriend, Iceline, mm -hmm. and we were talking about menstruation and the need when we talk about things like gender mainstreaming, mm -hmm. which nobody would think of that with menstruation. When you have a business place, you really need to take account for women's menstrual cycles. Yeah. You have to really consider that this is something that every woman goes through every month. And if we did it, none of you would be here. Exactly. And make accommodations so that your workplaces are friendly to these kinds of experiences. Okay. Which of those um, uh, things from the video did you best identify with? Every single thing. Um, what I didn't like in the video, though, I'm going to tell you my dislikes. I can't reduce my sugar. I try my best. I shouldn't be eating a lot of yeah. sugar, which I don't, right? But during that time, you, you gravitate. You, yeah. yeah. So how can we do that? I think we're not supposed to, though. I think yeah, the, we're not. Yeah, we're the not craving to. is we're supposed to resist it, but it's so hard to resist it. Yeah, and the, the boob tenderness. And I don't want to exercise during it's a lot. I exercise vigorously before. I don't normally get to exercise during. I don't want to because, yes. uh, no. Um, Exercise is really good during your menstruation because it gets your blood flowing. It can really help with cramps and pain. I don't feel comfortable because I sweat a lot. So you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Mm -mm. So I don't yeah. really exercise during that time. But right after, I'm back into my do. But it's funny that we have to do this every month. Every we month. go through the same thing. For the many, many years oh until, you're, until you're perimenopausal or you're menopausal. Yeah. And for those who don't know, perimenopausal is that period just before oh, menopause, menopause, very yes. uncomfortable period oh, my God. <laughs> for a lot of women. And it's a lot of changes in our body. Yeah. We don't think about that even for our childbearing years, because in the middle, you have children, right? Mm -hmm. And now you don't have children yet. No. Mm -mm. So I'm going to listen on this one. <laughs> yeah, but your body, if you talk about even the changes during menstruation, mm -hmm. your body really changes a lot during your childbearing years. Mm -hmm. Even, and people think about the physical changes, oh, my shape, my form, my 
oh, my belly is now I got this extra pudge I can't get mm -hmm. rid of and my butt got big and I gained all these pounds. But also your hormonal changes are different. Yes. So after we have a baby, a lot of women lose their libido. They're mm -hmm. not really interested that much yeah. in having sex and it can really shift our hormones a lot, mm -hmm. pregnancy and um, after the birth. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that our partners are really conscious mm -hmm. of these changes and really get themselves a little bit of education. I was just going to say, how do we educate them though? When, yeah. when do we educate them that these changes are going to occur? I think we should educate them when we get pregnant. You know, okay. I, I had um, what to expect when you're expecting. Okay. I feel like that is like, if there's a baby Bible, yeah, you can get that. You can get it on Kindle. Yeah. yeah. If you, the baby Bible, and you should sit with your partner and read it because it would explain a lot of the mood changes mm -hmm. and the shifts. And when you're pregnant, literally, it feels like there's an alien in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to get out, kicking, moving, you can't sleep, you can't, and everything is wow. just different. You don't have your period, of course, for 10 months, because uh -huh. you're pregnant for 10 months, by the way. It's a lie. It's nine months, it's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. Says the woman who has to watch. I, it's I, a lie. I cannot attest. It's I don't 10 know. months, 40 weeks. So you're pregnant mm. for like 40 weeks. That's mm. 10 months. And then after you give birth, you would think people think that's the whole thing. Yeah. But it is really a lot. Wow. It, it's, it's a lot of changes in our physical bodies, emotionally and hormonally. So what is it like after birth? After what? birth, um, well, it depends. You could experience a lot of different emotions. Because now, you know, you've got... You just had pregnancy, now you've got, now you are somebody else's being. Okay. So like an entire child depends entirely yeah, on you uh -huh. for everything. So that's also a great change to women and in relationships. I'll come back okay. to talk about that sometime about how babies change relationships. Oh, okay. And then after we have our babies, we start to look forward, of course, to, unfortunately, we don't have time for it today, menopause, oh. which is when we don't have the period anymore. That's when you said you'll be happy. Um, not really, because complications come with that. I just wish that periods could skip some months. <laughs> so if it comes this month, let it not come until the next five months. Yes, yeah, so every okay. six months. How about that? All right. So God, if you're listening, <laughs> work with us. Cortensia <laughs> would like you to work with her. She would like her period to come bi-monthly, yeah. bi-annually. If you could just make that work out for her, which does happen for a lot of women. If you are a woman who doesn't have regular periods, mm -hmm. that can be very normal or it cannot. So yeah. we encourage you if you have any um, changes in your body that don't seem yeah. familiar to always, Visit of course, seek the advice yeah. of your doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good girl talk. I know. Thanks for having me. We need, we, we need to have more girl talk. We need to have, and we need to have longer time in girl talk. Yeah. Wink, 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 wink. Wink. We could use a little <laughs> more time to talk about girl stuff.